it's Lux Sims and today we are going to be starting a new challenge. I'm going to warn you right now though, this one is, this is, this is going to be a really chaotic challenge, okay? This one's going to have a lot of cussing, it's going to be very intense and we're probably going to lose our minds. So if you, you know, are not in for that, don't watch this series. This episode is going to be obviously more chill though because we're just creating the characters. There is gonna obviously it's gonna be a time lapse probably with a voiceover So if you're not interested in that again, don't have to watch but that is basically we are doing the seven toddler challenge and Basically where we just you know, we have a caretaker and we have seven different sims You gotta have one adult obviously so that way you can you know take care of them and then you have the seven toddlers um, and you randomize their traits you can use the money cheat or you can make it harder on yourself and get your own money But you can't get a job because like you gotta stay home So it's gotta be just like hobbies that you make money off of um, which I think we might do just to make things even harder on ourselves um, But we'll probably start with at least like a thousand bucks just so that way um, You know, we're not like I mean, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see Let me know in the comments how badly you'd like me to struggle Um, because we can kind of customize the challenge to the way that you guys want to see it and the way that I want to play it so go ahead and just leave whatever feedback you feel is necessary and we'll decide that in the, in the next episode. It's pretty, pretty self-explanatory, you know, it's craziness. You got seven toddlers, you have to raise them till they grow all the way up, you know, and just raise them like your own little family. I think we're really just going to get started with it. Let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just pop off with the time lapse. I don't want to bore you guys, so I'm like... If I time lapse it, I won't ramble so much because it'll be a voiceover and I have like a certain time limit. So I decided that I'm going to do a time lapse. I was like, well, what if I talk through the whole thing? And I'm like, that's going to make them want to rip their heads off. So time lapse it is. Alrighty. So um, I had a lot of fun with this. I sat here for like hours and my fingers were starting to cramp. So I did take multiple breaks throughout this. Um, it's also, I bounced around a lot between the characters, so I'm going to try and narrate this the best I can. Um, but my dumb ass was just like hippity hop and didn't really think about how hard it would be to voice over going through so many different stages and like characters at the same time. But I'm just going to try my best, so here we go. Alright, so this hairstyle, I was at first, I was like, I'm in love with this, this is her hairstyle, I'm keeping this hairstyle. It looks great, love the blue hair, perfect for her. So yeah, you'll see me keep this hairstyle for a while. I had trouble figuring out her hair. This is not the hairstyle that I end up going with. I'll give you a little hint. But I really bounced back and forth between it and like even different colors in it for a for a minute. And then I think I also had a really hard time because she's like a foster mom. That's like kind of the idea here. Um, getting her style right. I still don't really know if her style matches. I make very different, like I don't usually make foster mom sims. So I'm like... I don't know. I mean, like, she's okay to, like, to dress showy. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, like, being a mom and dressing showy. I don't have a problem with that. It's just, I didn't know if it was necessarily her style for, like, the lifestyle she was, she personally was living and, like, her character and everything. I had kind of a hard time just, like, picking something out specifically for her and what I felt like she was going to want. I know she's obviously a sim, like, you know, there's there's only so much you can do with the sim's personality, but, like, I don't know. I, I, I get deep, okay? I get deep in my shit. <laughs> but anyway, so this is the hairstyle. See, I changed, I even changed the color of it. I was like, maybe, like, it's just a pinker or a lighter color, like, will kind of help. I kept that. I was like, oh, yep, this is the one. I like this. Kept this for a while. Nope. Still, still, it's kind of faded away. And I think... <coughs> excuse me. Sorry. Um, I think... As time went on and I took like little breaks and I kind of got time to look at it and think about it, it helped me make the better decision um, and make her look more like a foster mom and more like how I perceived her personality to be and her looks to be. I'm really bad at voiceovers. Just give me some time, you guys. I'm sorry. Uh, that outfit right there, the one with the skirt, I did keep that one. I may change it later. It feels a little off. I had a really, like I said, I had a really hard time, like, debating her style, especially because she's, like, this right here, this is a sim I would make. This is a sim that would be like, oh, yeah, perfect. Like, for, like, like teen mom challenge, perfect. Absolutely perfect. But for this challenge, I just really was not feeling, you know, I wasn't feeling like it was her, like, the sim that I wanted to create. 
really pretty. I mean, the hairstyle suits her well. It just wasn't the style that I think she would have. All right, so that little, there was a little cut right there. It's really hard to tell because obviously it's in speed mode, but that was me taking a break for a little bit and uh, I had some family members over, so I was just visiting with them. And it, it really like, see, this is where I was like, okay, the hair is not fitting. It's not fitting with what I want. Um, this hairstyle, that one with the bun, I was really thinking about that one, really thinking about it. Um, but ultimately I went with a curly type of wavy hair, this hair, that hair you just saw. I think it fits her spot on. Like when I saw this hair, I was like, perfect, we're done. Done with the hair choosing, great, found it. I love this hairstyle on her so much. I really hope it doesn't glitch out in the game because I haven't used it yet, but it is so pretty. I'm gonna be so mad if we have to change it. So I just think it's so perfect for her. You know, like at first I was like, oh, wild colors, like that fits her perfect. Also these mom um, bell bottom jeans, I'm sorry, they're, they're freaking awesome and they look great on her. Love them, love them, love them, love them. I think they're so adorable on here. See, like this style right here, this is like perfect for me. This fits her perfect in my opinion. So hopefully, like I know it's just a pair of jeans, but hopefully that those jeans like kind of give you an idea of the style I was trying to go with for her. Another thing I messed around with was actually dreads. Um, dreads looked super cute, see right there, like those look adorable on her, but ultimately I like the wavy hair better. And then here with Party, um, I was trying to find another hairstyle like this one that kind of matched the same uh, color because obviously I don't have multiples of like that specific color and other hairs because I wanted one of her outfits to like have her hair up. And I might change that to her nighttime hair honestly too, the one on the ponytail, I think that's super cute. That's the closest one I could find. Um, I know it doesn't match exactly, it's kind of more of an ombre, but like that's, again, the closest one I could find. Ultimately though, she turned out absolutely amazing. She's super cute. Uh, the, the hot wear took me a fat minute to decide on and I'm not even sure if I like it. Um, like I said, probably gonna go back later and change out some of these outfits, but for now it should, it should work, you know? And I think I can obviously learn more about the type, the type of sim she is the more we play and kind of debate that. Also that outfit, oh my god, I told you, I already told you this actually. That outfit with the, the sweatpants, favorite outfit, love it, so cute. I think I said that in the time lapse, I don't really know. But that second outfit, just perfect. With that being said, I'm just gonna let you enjoy the last little bit of the time lapse with her and then I'll talk again when we get to the toddlers. Okay, so not very long break, but I didn't really know what to say at the end there. Sorry about that. But as you can see here, I started by just kind of messing around a little bit with the genetics. And when I initially started making these toddlers, they spawned in with the birthmarks on their face. And I thought that was the cutest ideas for twins. So here we are making twins with these adorable birthmarks on them that it's just like, they're just perfect. They look so cute with them on. And you know, they're like slightly different from each other and it's just so cute. So those, I think those are my favorite toddlers. I'm gonna be honest with you. And um, I did scrap those toddlers. So I initially started, that sounds so bad, but I initially started with those two twins that I spawned in with the birthmarks. And I was like, that's a really cute idea, but I want to try something. I wanna try with a different, um, a different spawned in toddler. Uh, Cause I kind of wanted, I don't really know why, I just wasn't feeling like the way that they looked. So I was like, let me just try it with a completely different toddler. And these are the ones that we ended up making. And as you can see, I started a completely new toddler in the middle of nowhere. I think I said this in like the beginning of the video, but I jumped around a shit ton. I don't know how it helped my brain process, but somehow it just did. And it worked because all the toddlers are so cute. But I just kind of like, I don't know, I just added a bunch of toddlers and I thought they were so cute. And the, the two um, darker skin tone babies, as you can see, I figured those two could be like actual like genetic siblings. And then obviously the two twins are actual like, bi or not genetic, or I guess it is genetic, like biological, you know, brothers and sisters. 
um, you can kind of tell which ones are actually like actually biologically related. But they're all going to love each other the same. It's all going to be good. They're going to be so cute together. We're going to grow up in a nice, cute little house together. The challenge is going to be super fun. We're going to struggle a lot. <laughs> uh, this girl right here that you see me making is one of my favorite. She's so cute. And I'm going to be honest, she's the only one that I gave like one hairstyle with her hair up. And I might go back and do that some, for some of the other toddlers. I was just, like I said, so exhausted this day from doing this many sims and a span of like three or four hours i probably should take in like a day break in between to be honest but like i said we could always go back later and add what i want to add and then this little guy that you see me making right here is super cute the he's got the blue eye or the sorry the blonde hair green eyes actually and he's really adorable and i'll tell you more about him later uh, a couple funny things happened while I was making him and then back to our cute little girl over here I don't want to say their names. I know their names. I just can't say them. <laughs> I wanted to be a surprise But she was super cute. I look at I had to add all I added eyelashes to her and I loved it So I had to add it to all of them and she got a cute little little overlay and don't worry We add freckles to half these babies. Okay, they're gonna have cute little freckles but here, here's her in her little summer outfit with the little sunflowers love it her favorite color as you can see I kind of went with a purple theme for her and then this little guy, I put in his name actually while I'm making him just because it's too perfect. So you'll get to see his name, so I might as well say it. His name is Cody. He just looks like a Cody to me. As soon as I put on that hairstyle, I was like, this is Cody. This is Cody right here. He is so cute. And his favorite color, I just kind of went with like browns and like grays for him. I think he's just so cute. Maybe like some red in there like you can see on the scarf. It's just like, he just screams Cody. I don't know what it is about him. He just like, he just looks like a little, little mini Cody. And he's got some blues in there, but like his favorite color is brown and like uh, brown and gray is kind of what I went with for that. And here is one of our twins we're working on. The twins are so cute. So cute. I favorite them. I'm sorry. I I'm just going to say it. I favorite them. They're so cute. But here is the first twin. And as you can see, she's got our cute little birth marks on. They're separate from her sisters, but she is the pink baby. Pink baby. She loves pink. And that little dress on her, god, she's such a diva. She's definitely going to be the sassier one of the two. She's so cute, though. And I think you guys will definitely like her the more that you see of her. And for her little swimsuit outfit, hot pink. Hot pink is what we went with. Straight away, hot pink. And that summer outfit that you saw there actually matches her sister. As you can see, I put it on her sister right there in the middle. It's uh, her sister's is white and hers is obviously pink. Look at that little watermelon hoodie. It's so cute and it matches because she likes pink, obviously. So cute. And for her sister, I was thinking more of like maybe a light blue and grays would be like her favorite color. So you can see I gave her the panda shirt, bright turquoise or blue. And you can see I was checking, double checking the birthmark. See how hers kind of like goes off more to the right side of her eye. I hope that isn't flipped whenever you guys watch it, but um, and it's more on one eye particularly. I think it's so cute. I actually kind of like her, her birthmark better. Um, they're both very adorable, but like her birthmark, something about the shape of it. I'm just like, that is like a perfect birthmark. It's so cute. I mean, they're all, they're all perfect in their own way. I just particularly like that one. I think it's really cute. Um, and this is like the, uh, for this dress, I just went with a darker blue. She still likes blue. It's still in the blue range, right? And her hot weather, like I said, matching with her sister. Hers is white. This cute little gray hoodie and the, the little cats on the knees and her little boots. Oh, so perfect. And this little guy right here. Oh, I'm fighting not to say their names. It's so hard. You'll see me name them all at the end though. Um, and obviously introduce them as well. So you'll, you'll get to hear or see their names, whatever. He's got the cutest little big brown eyes in the entire world matching his little sister's eyes. And for him, I just kind of, I literally just went with like blacks and whites. It just felt right. Just felt right. I really don't know. His favorite color could be anything. Uh, maybe dark blue. I did some dark blue on him. He just looks like a little stud man. He is so cute. Uh, he's catching all the ladies, even as a little boy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and then, then this guy. So the, the funny thing about this guy, which I explained actually in the video, kept putting makeup on him. It just kept wanting me to give him makeup. And like that could come in to see how it like spawns it for every outfit. I think it's so cute that I did that and we can definitely let that come into play later when he gets older for sure if that's what he if that's what we see that he likes. I wish there was kind of more like interactions they could choose like around makeup whenever they're 
little like younger or even older there's not much like, like you know there's not really a makeup feature in the game which is kind of sad but anyway i'll get more into that makeup thing situation later on whenever you hear me in regular speed and time and then his favorite colors i kind of chose green and blue a lot of blues in here but green you could see like neon green like the avocado shirt perfect for him absolutely perfect looks adorable on him and makes his hair like pop the fuck off he's so cute and then I'm just going through and I'm naming them all. Alrighty guys, so after about like what I'm gonna say around three to four hours we're finally done took me forever i just finished picking out their names i haven't randomized their traits yet we're gonna actually pick her traits everything else will be randomized but i just wanted to kind of give you a brief rundown of all their outfits their names and then we'll pick the traits that's what i'm trying to say then we'll pick the traits so this is carmella she's going to be the caretaker all of their last names are dutton um, she has, of course, because she's like, oh my god, she's so beautiful, so beautiful. Um, she has three outfits because she's our caretaker. So one, I'm going to try and do it fast. Two, I'm in love with that outfit. Three, there we go. She was a real, like, I don't know if all her outfits match. I can't really tell, but I tried, okay? I tried. Formal, active wear, real cute, real simple, and sleepwear. Oops, I skipped one. Ah, party hair. I couldn't find any other hair that kind of like matched the hair that she already had, but like was a different style. So this is the closest I could get to that. Swimwear, which you kind of already saw because I accidentally clicked ahead. Hot weather, cute, simple, um, and cold weather. So for Carmilla, we're gonna go ahead and pick, obviously the successful lintage, big happy family trait. I don't really want her to be vegan. We can't have her being picky here. <laughs> So we will make her very family oriented and then we'll go ahead and make her a like chef of some sort. Let's see what we have here. I have so many extra like traits that I downloaded. I don't even know if I like the herbalist trait. Let's go ahead and make her a foodie. Damn girl, I burp. I don't have a food trait? Am I crazy? I was thinking more like gardening. Maybe like she likes the outdoors, we could go with that. All right, and then I just went ahead and randomized her likes and dis dislikes. So that's her, go ahead and move on. Lucy, little Lucy, this girl is so cute. It looks like, well that's, I guess we're starting from this end. This is her cold wear, her hot wear, which doesn't really match, but that's like the vibes for her. <laughs> um, pool, she likes purple, her favorite color is purple. Party. Uh, sleep time, sleepwear, whatever, formal, and everyday. Her everyday wear is so cute. Okay, let me go ahead and randomize this. I was going to randomize them to the time lapse. That's why you see something there, but let's go ahead and just randomize this now. She's silly. Next up, we have Cody. Little Cody. I saw this guy. You saw me in the time lapse. I put his name in right away because I just saw this guy and I was like, this is perfect. So anyway, everyday wear, um, formal sleep look at this little guy he's so cute look at all those freckles okay sleepwear i was like struggling what to put on him and i was like you know what he's the kind of kid that won't wear pants to bed so there you go um party swimwear hot weather i'm actually debating on getting rid of these jeans for hot weather just because it's like it's hot that's the whole point i don't have many uh boy shorts for him though We'll just give him some brown little shorts. There we go. Cute. And you saw the cold weather, so we're good there. All right. Cool. Go ahead and randomize his trait. Yeah. Wild. He's a wild child. That honestly seems right, <laughs> to be honest. Next, we have Anaya Dutton. And she's all about pink. His favorite color. So we have purple, brown, pink. And she is a twin sister to the next, per the next toddler. So Anaya, this is her every day. Like I said, she loves pink. Her formal, her sleepwear, 
her party wear, her um, swimwear, bright pink, of course, her hot weather. This outfit matches with her twin, actually. They have the same exact outfit, except the other twins is just white, and hers is pink, of course. Cold weather. Awesome, awesome. All right, Miss Anea, what are you? She's independent. You know, I really feel like she'd be clingy, if I'm being really honest with you. We have Renee. So this is the twin sister, if you catch the drift. Her favorite color is kind of like blue, gray, and white. This is her everyday wear. Look at these, I oh, I obviously gave them the um, birthmarks, because I thought that was so cute, like to have little, like matching things, but things that are different at the same time. Everyday, formal, sleepwear, party wear. Couldn't really find anything. I mean, I just kind of went with a darker blue for this one. That's the only difference, instead of a teal. Um, swimwear, I thought this was so cute. I love that, the floaties for her, that's so cute. Hot weather, see, same outfit, just in white. Perfect match in sisters. Cold weather, cute, cute, cute. So Renee, let's see what she is. A charmer, how cute, okay. And then we have Mel. So Mel is a redhead, as you can see. Ooh. Look at how cute she is. Oh, I forgot to give her eyelashes, no. Damn it, okay, we're gonna have to go through and I will do that real quick, hold on one second. Okay, so I went ahead and gave her a skin overlay and then just some eyelashes off camera really quickly. But, so this is Mel Dutton. Um, Mel, I was thinking kind of short for Melody, but then, ugh, I just put Mel. <laughs> so there you go, I don't really know what I, the point of that whole conversation was, but here she is, she's so cute, she's covered in red and she's super pale, which is perfect, like the red and the pale, I love it together. Her formal wear, her sleep wear, obviously favorite color is red, pretty obvious. Her party wear, her swim wear, and I even put her hair up for that one. Uh, hot weather, these shorts are really cute, they're like little friggin' bowls on her legs. And cold weather. Mel, what is your trait? Let's see. Okay, I don't want them to have the same trait, so I'm gonna go ahead and randomize hers again. I want them all to be different. Wild, we already have a wild child. Charmer, we already have a charmer. And, oh, did not work. Hello? Okay, Angelic, is that what that is? Yeah, Angelic. Moving on, we have Donatello, or Donateo. I really don't, know if that's how you spell it please let me know if I spelled it incorrectly I just I mean I don't really know if there is a right or wrong way to spell a name but that's just I was like um I guess that works so anyway here he is he's absolutely adorable as well everyday wear formal wear sleep wear trying to go through this quickly for you guys party wear swim wear hot weather and cold weather okay so let's go ahead and see what his traits gonna be can't do Charmer, can't do Wild. Clingy, perfect, love that for him. Okay, next up we have Nathaniel or Nathan. Um, blue eye, blonde hair, I just felt like that was such a perfect name. He, I own it, like you saw me checking in the video, I literally thought he was a girl for a minute because of how like angelic and pretty his face is. It kept spawning makeup on him specifically. I don't really know why, it just kept spending makeup on Nathaniel, so maybe that could come into play later, like if he does like makeup, you know, I don't know, I don't know. So this is everyday, formal, sleep, party. I kind of came up with like blue, green vibes for his favorite color. Oh, and for Donatello, I was kind of like obviously going for like black or uh, blue. But for him, like green and blue, or yeah, green and blue. Party, swimwear, hot weather, as you can see from the avocado, I love the avocado shirt, perfect. Um, and then the hot weather wear. All right, so Nathaniel is gonna be, can't do clingy, inquisitive. All right, I think that completes our seven toddler challenge. The last thing we're gonna do in today's episode is just put them in a house save them and then next time hopefully we'll either get to work on their house and maybe even play a little bit and hopefully we'll know 100% the rules we're going by um just one I want to give you guys a chance to like if you want to help out with the rules or like tell me something you want to see I want to give you guys a chance to comment on that so we will figure out the rules 100% 
in the next episode decide like how we're gonna do this if we're gonna cheat with money whatnot that kind of thing Alrighty, so we're gonna go ahead and just pick a place for them to live. Let's have them just start in... We'll start at the very beginning. We'll start at spring. I really don't know exactly where I want them to live yet. There's so many places now. Holy crap. I feel like out here would be better just because that's like it's a good place for growing and that's like her main thing, right? Let's see if we can steal anybody's house. <laughs> This looks like a good house. A good house to maybe possibly start with, right? All right, let's try and let's try this house out. We can keep it furnished just so that way we can kind of delete some of them and refurnish it, if that makes sense. It'll make things easier on me. All right, on that note, with all these cute little toddlers, before we let them free roam, let's take a look at the house really quickly, and then we will go ahead and come back to this uh, challenge a bit later. It's real tiny. I wonder if we have any houses off the gallery we can download. I really like this though. This back area or front area, whatever it is. It's so cute. And look at the little chicken coop. It'll be so good for them. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to end the episode here. If you enjoyed their makeover and want to see the whole challenge, please let me know if you have any. Um, also, if you have any suggestions on the challenge itself or any other ones you might want to see, let me know once again. And yeah. Until then, my name is Lux Sims. I will see you guys next time. Bye.